Hello to all my fellow chess enthusiasts. Welcome back po again sa ating YouTube channel. And today, we have another chess lesson, the Arabian Checkmate Pattern. But before I start to my new lesson, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe po sa aking YouTube channel. And you can also drop your comment below sa aking mga uh, video. To start, we will first define the Arabian Checkmate Pattern. According to Wikipedia, the Arabian mate, it is the knight and the rook team up to trap the opposing king on a corner of the board. The rook sets on a square adjacent to the king, both to prevent escape along the diagonal and to deliver checkmate while the knight sets two squares away diagonally from the king, to prevent escape on the square next to the king and to protect the rook. I will show you some example of an Arabian checkmate pattern and after you are already familiar with the pattern, I will give you 10 to 15 seconds to answer the 12 Arabian checkmate pattern exercises. This is one example of the Arabian checkmate pattern position. The rook check the king and the king cannot capture the rook because the knight on c6 is protecting the rook on a7. At the same time, this knight on c6 is guarding the b8 square so that the king cannot escape on b8. Another example of the Arabian checkmate pattern position, the rook check the king on g1, and the king cannot capture the rook because the knight on f3 is protecting the rook on g1. Also, this knight guarding the square h2 so that the king cannot escape on h2. So the white king is checkmate. In this example, black to move, we will checkmate the white king in two moves using the Arabian mate pattern. So the knight will go to f3 check. Then the king has only one square to escape and that is king h1. Then the rook on f2 will go to h2 to checkmate the white king. Fourth example, white to move. The Arabian mate pattern here is queen x8-6. Then the black king has no choice but to capture the queen by his bishop. Then the rook on e7 will move to h7 to checkmate the black king. Example number five, white to move. The Arabian mate pattern is knight f6 check. Then the king has only one negative square to move, king h8, because the rook on g3 is guarding all the squares on g file, so the king cannot move on g squares. Then the rook on g3 will move to g8 to checkmate the black king. Example number six, again, this is white to move. The Arabian mate is rook f7 check. Then the king has only one square to move, king g8, then the white will continue, knight f6 check, then again white has one legal square to move, king h8, then r8, 7, main. Example number 7, white to move, the rook will go to g6 check, the king cannot capture the knight because the bishop on d1 is protecting the knight on h5 and also the king cannot capture the rook because the pawn on f5 protecting the rook on g6 so the king will force to move to h7 then after that knight f6 check then the black king will move to h8 then rook g8 mate example number eight black to move the Arabian mate in this position is queen x g1 check. So first the white queen will capture the queen because the king cannot capture the queen because the rook on g3 is protecting the queen on g1. So first queen will capture the queen. Then the knight on h4 will move to f3 check. So the white king has only one leg square to move king h1, then the rook will capture the queen on g1 and checkmate. Sample number 9, still black to move. 
RG4 check. First move, the white king will move to H3. Then after knight G5 check, another force move, the king will move to king H2 and knight F3 check. Then the white has two choices. Either he will go to H3 or king H1. So if he will go to king H3, then there is rook G1 mate or there is rook G5 mate. Or rook g6, rook g7, or rook g8 still mate with the bishop. But if he will go to king h1, then there is rook g1, Arabian mate pattern. Example number 10, my last example, this is black to move. The Arabian mate pattern here is rxg to check, force move. The white rook will capture the rook on g2, then after knight f3 check, then another force move because the king has only one negative square to move, only king h1. Then after rook a1 check, force move again, the rook will cover on g1 because the king cannot move to uh, h2. So after rx g1 checkmate. Now let's move on to our exercises and again. For each problem, you will only have 10 to 15 seconds taking time to answer each problem. So good luck to all my viewers that watch this video lesson. So exercise number one, this is why to move. Time starts now. So the right answer here is group XF7. So first move, knight will eat the queen on C3 because of the threat queen G7 checkmate. So first move, knight will capture the queen, then knight F6 check. So first move, there's only one legal square for the black. King h8, then rook h7, the Arabian mate pattern. So I hope nakita niyo po yung correct na answer. Exercise number two, this is black to move. Your time starts now. So, ang tamang sagot ko dito is knight f3 check. So, the king has two options. Either he will go to king h3 or king h1. If king h3, so magka-capture lang po dito si knight sa g1 check. So, the king di po dito makalabas kasi po meron pong uh, queen na nakabantay po dyan. No? So, of course, he will go back to king h2. Then, after that, queen x g2 checkmate. Or, if pumunta naman po si king dito sa after knight f3 dito sa king h1, then si queen po, kakapture lang po dito sa g2, check. Then after uh, rook x g2, then the rook will give check on c1. Then force move po, hindi makapunta po dito si king kasi po, uh, na nakakontrol din po dyan si uh, knight sa h2. No? So, force move Mag-cover po siya ng rook. Then after that, rook xg1, checkmate. Exercise number 3, white to move. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is queen x a6 check. So, first move, uh, the king can capture the queen because the knight is protecting the queen. So, first move, the pawn will capture the queen on a6. So, after that, knight c6 check. Okay, so again, first move pull it. The only square of the king is k6. 
king a8 no because hindi po siya makapunta dito sa b7 kasi po uh, kontrolado po yan ng rook sa uh, b3 no so first move dito po siya sa e8 then rook x b8 checkmate okay so, exercise number 4 na po tayo this is block to move your time starts now Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is knight x f3 check. No? So force mo, hindi po makakapture dito si uh, pawn kasi po open check po siya. No? So force move, king h1. Then after that, meron pong bishop x g2 check. No? So another force move kasi po wala na pong square na mapuntahan si king. No? So capture na lang po dito sa g2 yung uh, move niya. No? So after rook x g2, then meron pong queen g1 check. So, again, force again, uh, the rook will capture the queen on g1, then rx g1 checkmate. Okay, so exercise number 5. This is why to move. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is knight g6 check. No? So, force po. Si king wala na pong ibang square kasi if king g8 or king h7, may knight po dito na nakakontrol sa mga square na yan. No? So, force mo po, magka-capture po siya dito ng fx g6. No? Then, after fx g6, the queen will capture the pawn on h6. No? So, force mo again. So, the king cannot move here because of the knight. Then, after gx, h6, then rook h7, checkmate. Exercise number 6. This is black to move. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is Rx F1 check. No? So, force po. No? So, may dalawang option po dito si uh, White. No? Either capture po siya dito ng Rook sa F1 or capture po dito ng uh, Bishop sa F1. So, pag, uh, pag Bishop po ang ginamit niya kapag capture sa Rook sa F1, meron lang pong Knight F3 si Black. Check. So, hindi na po siya makapunta dito sa A2 kasi po nandyan po si Rook nakabantay sa A2. No? So, force po, King H1. And after that, Rook H2 checkmate. If dito naman po siya, uh, gamitin niya po yung Rook sa uh, uh, capture dito sa F1. Then, meron na po ang Queen X F1 check. Okay, so hindi po siya makakapture ng King kasi po Uh, protect mo dyan si knight no? sa queen. So, after bishop f1, so knight f3 po, then after king h1, rook h2, checkmate. Exercise number 7 na po tayo. This is why to move. Your thinking time po to answer this problem is 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so your time starts now. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is queen x g7 check. No? So, hindi po makakapture si king sa queen kasi po uh, may way nakaprotect po dito si rook sa g7, no? sa queen sa g7. So, force po na magcapture po siya ng uh, rook x g7. Then after that, meron na pong knight f6 check. So, force po na dito na lang po sa king h8 si king kasi po hindi po siya makapunta dito sa g8. Kasi po nakabantay po dyan si knight sa f6. No? So after king h8, meron nang pong rook x h6 check. No? So again, uh, force po ulit si black na mag-cover ng rook. No? So after rook h7, meron nang pong rook x h7. Then Arabian checkmate pattern po yan. Exercise number 8. 
still wait to move 10 to 15 seconds po again to answer this problem. So your time starts now. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is Rx86. Check, no? So, doon may dalawang option po dito si Black. Either mag-capture po siya ng rook dito sa H, kami kampon, or mag-move po siya ng King G8. So, if King G8, then meron na po ang Queen E6. Checkmate po si Black. So, if mag-capture po siya ng rook after rook X86, so, capture po siya, then meron na po ang Queen H7 check. So, force po na mag-capture po siya kasi wala na po siyang ibang square na magpuntahan. Then, meron na po Knight F6 check. So, only H8 na po yung square na magpuntahan niya. Then, meron na po Rook G8 checkmate. Exercise number 9 na po tayo. Black to move. Same po ng thinking time. 10 to 15 seconds to answer this problem. Your time starts now. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is Rx G2. Check. So, force move po hindi na po makapunta dito si King sa F1 kasi po meron na pong Rook sa F8 na nakabantay. No? So, King X G2 then meron na pong RF F2 check then King G1 first move po. Then meron na pong Knight E5. No? So, after Knight E5 wala na pong piece na maka uh, stop po dito sa uh, knight na makapunta sa F3. No? So, if mag-move po siya ng RH2, so still po meron ng knight F3 check, then king H1, then Rx H2 checkmate. Exercise number 10, white to move. Another nice and simple position na maka-checkmate po kayo ng Arabian mate pattern. So, your time starts now. Okay, isang tamang sagot po dito is Knight F6. No? So, maraming threat po dyan si Knight. Meron po siyang threat sa G8, sa H5, at saka meron po din po siyang threat sa G8, at saka sa H7. So, force move po na mag-capture po dyan si Rook sa G7. Then, after that, meron ng pong RE8 check. So, force po again na magbalik po si Rook sa G8. Then, Rx G8 checkmate. So, size number 11, still white to move. Your thinking time is 15 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, ang tamang sagot po dito is Queen G7 check. So, force move po na mag-capture po si Black na Queen sa G7. No? So, then, meron pong Knight F6 check. So, force move po na mag-move po si King sa H8 kasi po hindi na po siya makapunta dito sa G8. Then, after that, meron nang pong Rook E8 check. So, force po again na mag-cover po siya ng Rook sa G8. And after that, Rook X G8 checkmate. Exercise number 12 of our last exercise. This is black to move. So, your time starts now.
Okay, so ang tamang sagot po dito is queen x b2. Check. So, first move po na mag-capture po si rook sa b2. And after that, meron pong knight c3. Check. So, first po, isa na lang square ni white. Dito na po sa e1. Then, meron pong rook a3. Check. Okay, so first move po na mag-cover si rook sa a2, then rx a2, checkmate. So I hope nagustuhan nyo naman po ang video na to. So thank you so much for watching and God bless.